Extensive coverage of day two already underway on WOSN with Division Three races, but we start in Division Two. Liberty Benton's junior, Michaela Butler, not only won her heat yesterday in the 100, but her time of 11.67 seconds set a new state record, a full tenth of a second better than the mark she set last week in the regionals. Butler not looking to add some more gold to her. She is looking to add some more gold to her collection, running in the 100 and the 200 today. And your Division Two highlights are brought to you by Dominion. Another day at Jesse Owens. We'll get to Michaela in a minute. Let's start with the girls' 4x2 relay. Madison Steck Schulte anchoring for OG. Fourth place finish in 143.72. Boys 400 now. Van Wert's Keegan Hardman crosses in 49.41. Good for fourth place. Good race in the girls' 800. Liberty Benton's Leah Wrecker makes a late push for the silver. 214.39 is her time. OG's Alyssa Ellerbrock third. Both girls had to give everything they had to reach and earn their medals. There at the end and I... I had to stay with that pack the whole race and everybody just took off after the 200 and it was just every man for themselves, I guess. A crazy race, we came out and we ran, we ran hard that first lap and that second lap was even tougher, but we stayed strong at the end and I thought I saw the end, but they came up and they came around me. They all ran a good race and it's been a really good senior year. Three-time state champion Sarah Canny competing in her final state meet, places third, in the 1600, 503.18, also competing in the 3200, 11, 13.94, seventh place finish to finish her career on the podium. I'm just thankful for the four years I've had here. I made a lot of memories and um, I mean, today wasn't, wasn't my day, but those days work you up for the best days, so I think it keeps you hungry for Sarah. Coldwater also represented by Dan Sees in the boys 3200. 928 88. He earns third place. Nice run by Dan. Girls 4x4 Versailles anchored by, anchored by Camille Watron Silvers. Final time of 356.70. OG and Alyssa Oerbrock fourth. Boys 4x4. Exciting finish. The top four teams separated by four tenths of a second. Van Wert and Hardman take fourth. Elida anchored by Clark Etzler finish in sixth. Now let's get to Michaela Butler. Running in the girls 100. Fastest woman again in Division Two, defending her title 11.68 seconds, one second, one tenth of a second shy, one hundredth of a second shy of the state record she set yesterday. OG's Madison Sexualty fifth, and then Butler and Sexualty also in the 200. It's Butler again, 24.27 for another gold. The junior's third state title in that event, and what a day for Butler and the rest of the Lady Tight of the Lady Eagles, I should say. Liberty Benton's first ever girls team title. Memorial Day made even more special as the girls honored late head coach by taking home the gold. Consistently, it feels absolutely amazing, and uh, it's not anything that I take for granted. It's an amazing opportunity to be out here and such a blessing. This hasn't been an easy season for us girls with the loss of our coach last year, and we've never won a team title. We all had wags in the back of our head. Um, we knew he was looking down on us, and we wanted to make him proud, and I think this program wouldn't have been um, would have had the potential it did if it wasn't for WAG, so he definitely still had a great part of it. We had so many PRs this weekend. Um, I mean, that's what you're hoping for. You know, last right. week went really well. You're never sure if maybe you peaked the week before, but I mean, we definitely Once peaked today. Right. I knew that we could achieve this, and I'm glad we could all go out and do our best so we could get this title. You now, winning as a team, you get to share it, you know, and these girls, they deserve it so much. Each one of them put in 110%. Well, congrats to Liberty Benton, your D2 girls champs. Division 2 field events in the early session today start with the shot put. OG's Anna Bellman, best throw of 37 feet, 1 inch. She finishes 14th. Bell Fountain's Brenda Johnson heaves at 41 feet, 1 inch and a quarter. Fifth place for the senior. Long jump defines his Michaela Allen. Leaps 15 feet on this attempt. Eventually goes for 17-6 and earns third. Girls pole vault, LB's Emma Swisher goes up and over 10-4. She would clear 10-8 to take sixth. Elida's Tori Bowen topped out at 11 feet, and the junior makes the podium in fourth place. And then Versailles sophomore Jenna France silvers, clearing 